it's Tipsy Red Rooster. Come on in, we're going to have a splash of something delicious. You guys, we're late, we're late, we're late. We gotta go, we gotta get on the plane. The Kentucky Derby, we missed it, we missed the Kentucky Derby. Just kidding. We're late for everything nowadays. Not that it matters because we got Tipsy Red Rooster right here to make you a cocktail from the Kentucky Derby. Today, you guys, we're making a mint julep. Woo, indeedy, yes we are. What you're going to need is some pewter or copper cups. Makes for a perfect mint julep. And I tell you, those mint juleps, they sound so innocent and delicate and just so pretty. Better than a little mosquito in a petticoat, you know, just cuteness. Oh, I love those Southern sayings. But today we're going to Kentucky. I've never been to Kentucky. It's one of 12 states I've never been to. So I am pleased to present to you the mint julep. And the reason behind these, the science behind these cups is the coldness of them. They hold coldness once you get those cold and they hold heat too, for that matter. But as soon as you put ice in there, which you can see I have these frosting right here. As soon as you put an ice cube in there, they're getting cold and they keep your cocktail so perfect and so icy chilled cold, it's delicious. The other thing you're going to need is some fresh mint, just like this little bushel I have here. <laughs> the thing you're going to need is some Kentucky bourbon, of course. And the one I'm featuring today is Old Forester, you guys. I cannot say enough about this one. It is smooth, it is smoky, it is sweet. It's so good, really, really good. Now we all know that Kentucky bourbon is made with corn, making it sweetness. Oh, for this one specifically, we're going to have to put a few little sprigs of mint in the bottom. Now, let me save you a few dollars. You don't have to go out and buy one of those fancy muddlers, the cocktail muddlers. You got one of these in your kitchen, don't you? Just use the back of it. Fantastic multi-tool. And you're just gonna muddle that mint to release the oils and the aroma. And I tell you right now, it smells so fresh in here. So we got some oil and just kind of swirl it around in that cup because it's gonna take on the flavor and it only gets better. Once you have that, you're going to need some crushed ice. The mint julep is almost like a whiskey slushy in a way. So to crush some ice, just put it in a plastic bag and then another multi-tool, your meat tenderizer. And just break that stuff up. Take the tension of the day out on your ice while you're making your cocktail. <laughs> Into the cup. And fill her up really good, you guys. You want lots of ice. Ice makes the drink. There we are. Next up is our bourbon. You're going to need two ounces. So fill that shot glass right up to the brim. There we go, nice and slushy. And then some simple syrup. And do you remember how to make this? Well, I'm gonna tell you, so sit back and relax. All you need is equal parts sugar and water. Bring it up to a boil, let it cool, and put it in a squirt bottle. Easy peasy. So about a tablespoon of that, swirl that around, and a nice sprig of mint, if I do say so myself. Woo! Give that a stir. Doesn't that sound great, you guys? Nice and slushy. Shall we take a sip? Now, proper Kentucky etiquette of a mint julep is to hold your pewter glass by the rim. That is simply because you don't want to waste all the melty goodness, the chilled glass, the chilled cup and everything. You don't want to waste that. So hold it by the rim and of course, pinkies up. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Woo-wee! Makes me want to ride a pony. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that good, you guys. It's smoky, it's sweet. And the freshness of the mint balances the whole cocktail out. Is that ever good? You know what I'm gonna say, guys? It's been a pleasure having you over for a cocktail party and a Kentucky Derby. Come on back when we're going to tip it, sip it, and educate.